Okay, so this video is going to add further details and, you know, actual modeling to our previous one. Uh, we're going to be working on the floor itself, the extrusions around the base, the window. We're going to be importing the curtains that we made in our other video that I posted a couple days back. And anyway, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's get going. Alright, so this video, since it's going to be focusing on the walls, before I can actually begin doing that, I need to work on this place over here basically what happened is I added this window in before adding details to the wall so that kind of makes things like a bit harder for me so it's nothing special I'm just gonna remake this bit over here and I'm just gonna dissolve the edges oh my bad I believe it should be dissolved faces yeah there we go okay so now what I want to do is I want to add these ridges and to be honest it's not really that hard. Um, all you need to do is get into edit mode and just place them where you want them to be. After that, just go into face select mode and select that entire row and extrude it. But without moving your mouse, just press escape. Or if you do move your mouse, pressing escape will cancel it. Just press S to scale it. And you can easily just tell it like, you know, I want to scale it this much. Okay, so the way this is going to work is it has, say, one, two, three levels. So I'm just going to do it like three times, basically. There definitely are like better ways to do this, but, you know, there's no harm. Uh, next up, the final one will be around here. So just select. I'm going to do them like one at a time. Extrude, escape, and then just scale it. Okay, select the last one. Extrude, escape, and scale it. Okay, so uh, now what's going on is basically this one is way too high. So it's not really a problem. You can just select this bit up here and just move it down. Oh, my bad. I guess you can't really move it down. Um, what if I just move down this edge? Because it is a curved surface. All right, that's better. That's a lot better. Uh, there's no point in like being hyper uh, accurate because to be honest, it's not really visible. I like, you know, not, it's not really that visible or prominent. Um, the whole point of this is just to add those details. So a, an image like it doesn't look bland. It still has like, you know, some flavor to it. Uh, Oh, the issue that we're facing right now is that they were both extruded differently. So I'm just going to like go back and I'm pretty sure my original plan was actually the best thing where you just select both of the new fa both of the faces. Uh, one second, let me just undo that. Okay, just select both of the faces and extrude them at the same time and then scale it. So scale it out like this. And now I can move this one back by scaling it. Yeah, that's fine. I like that. Okay, so you could like make different shapes uh, using that same technique, but to be honest, most of this video is actually going to be focusing on this window over here. Um, because it has plenty of things that need to be done to it. Basically, just gonna inset everything to make the actual window. And I'm going to use the same technique, basically extrude it out and then just delete this face over here. But there's a better way to do this. You don't extrude it out. You just separate this part by selection. And now this is going to be this entire frame over here. So let's just take a look at it from the front. I'm just going to make one cut in the middle and say, I guess this is like 0.9 negative. And I'm going to do the same over here, so 0.9, all right, and then I'm going to make another cut around over here in the middle. I'm going to make, this is, yeah, let's just create that frame. Um, there's obviously like a bottom one as well. Uh, my bad. I undo it once too many times. All right. Okay, so next up, these top bits are like this translucent area. The bottom bits, like these two, are the actual window. So let's just select both of them, separate by selection. Uh, next up, just select all of these, 
separate by selection all right so I want to parent all of them together so just parent them oh my bad control P parent them to this one so like whenever I move it everything moves with it okay and next up what we can do is hmm, I probably should have inserted it like a little bit no not inset like extruded it out ever so slightly actually I'm gonna do that so let's just um, hide this for now select all of these and extrude them out so in the X direction just ever so slightly okay then unhide this all right and just select all of them I'm gonna turn on this and leave it on the X there we go yeah that should be fine um, next step I want to do some of the materials because it's gonna look like really you know like we didn't really change anything because there's no materials over here so let's actually do that um, I'm gonna call this one window top window top yeah top window same stuff I'm gonna make this full transmission so it's like this area this area up here and I'm also going to change the color to this and maybe max out the roughness next up I'm gonna select both of this and bot window is fine I'm going to have zero roughness and full transmission all right so that's the basics of it done um, I guess I should also give a material to this for now and honestly I'm just gonna use a color for now just like a random color that I pick up from this bit uh, make it darker um, or yeah that's fine for now uh, I don't really want to like do a lot with it that's why um, this is like way too thick so what if I just oh my bad kill it down like this yeah that's better and I guess I'll have to like get into edit mode for this so just oh change it to edge so G Y over here and G Y over here all right yeah that's much better and now for the curtains um I have another video up just for the curtains because I do it in like a separate video and then I just export it over here so all you need to do is just import well export fpx and select the object and I'm just gonna do the same over here I'm just gonna import that fpx alright so this is the curtain that I made in my other video and I'm just gonna place them over here for now um, yeah the color is not perfect nothing is actually perfect about this so let's just quickly move it into the location that I want it to be at so just move it around here and now I'm gonna scale it along the z-axis to see if it actually looks decent when scaled I guess I'm also gonna rotate it a little bit move it closer 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 all right that's much better um, oh my bad I didn't rotate it like properly uh, rotate around the Y yeah there we go that's much better all right let's just move it closer now once more um, this can just make it smaller because honestly I'm pretty sure it is smaller than the other one just quickly check yeah it's definitely a smaller one okay so there's that now and honestly I don't think that's enough curtain like I need more curtain so let's do that let's do that um, first of all I'm gonna change its color to something like this because it looks better that way uh, this honestly should have just been darker yeah maybe like slightly less roughness um, all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it look like there's two different curtains and what I what you can do is just duplicate this uh, move it along wherever you want it and to make it look like not duplicated just rotate it along the z-axis and just flip it okay because uh, honestly it's the same material and it doesn't really one second yeah it's the same material from both sides it doesn't have like oh wait yeah this is like a separate curtain I don't think this is part of this one um yeah it doesn't look like it's part of that okay that's fine 
we can ignore that for now. Um, and finally, I think I want another one um, around along over here. So let's just okay. I'm having trouble like navigating through everything. Let's just reset the view. All right. So just duplicate it once more and just move it along over here. And just so it's all right. Let's just rotate it as well and move it out of the wall hopefully okay that's fine okay um did we need this one uh let me just quickly try to hide it oh we didn't let's just yeah let's just get rid of that um permanently not hide it uh yeah okay let's just get rid of that proper oh the lattice has reappeared because i unhid everything my bad um all right so that's pretty much that for this video um i did want to work on something else i do yeah i guess i want to give like the floor an actual color because right now it looks really basic so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna separate the floor um separate by selection and so it's still like a bunch of different things so just dissolve edges i believe no dissolve faces yeah so it's a single face now, and now I can easily just add a material to it. So what kind of material do I want to make for this floor? Um, I'm just going to quickly go to the material editor for this, and let's just call it floor. All right. Uh, floor. All right, so I'm having trouble finding the actual output, so like the nodes over here, so I'm just going to select everything and delete it. And now I can easily just add a material output. <laughs> this seemed like less effort than to actually find it over there. Um, let me know if there's actually a way to reset the view. Because, yeah, I was kind of struggling over there. Anyway, so I don't really want the floor to be really, like, you know, complex. Um, but at the same time, I do want it to have, like, this texture. And I feel like the best way to do that is... First of all, to check out Blender's own noise textures. So, all right, let's just try them one by one and see what they look like. For example, this is the Musgrave one. And if you scale it up, it basically turns into something like this. And honestly, it's pretty close to what we have over here, except, you know, it's all attached while these are all, you know, separate chunks. Um, what happens if we add the details, like increase the detail? So, one. Uh, okay. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything over here, to be honest. Yeah. Multifactorial, FBM, terrain. Alright, so there's that. Next up, what we can take a look at is... The noise texture, that's actually one of my favorite, because it creates stuff like this. <laughs> and you can easily scale it up. And I'm pretty sure you can take that through a color ramp. My bad, color ramp. Yeah, and that basically means you can change the colors of the different parts. So, for example, if I want this to be, not that, blue. So, if I want this to be this blue over here, and that to be white, I can just scale it up. Oh, but at the same time, it's not, you know, dark enough. Uh, okay. No, that, that's not good. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Here we go. Now we're definitely getting somewhere. So, 
Next step, I guess what we can do is increase the detail and decrease the size a little bit, maybe. Honestly, I would feel much better making this whole texture thing and substance designer. So I'm just going to keep it like this for now. All right. Now let's just make it a bit more dark. To be honest, it's not really that dark, but you know. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that's it for this video. It's already getting quite long. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye. All right, so I did like a bunch of different testing and testing and testing, and I finally settled on this, the Voronoi texture. And honestly, it's still not perfect. I might still change it in like a future video, but for the time being, it does the job pretty well. And yeah, I noticed that, you know, these curtains are a bit too twisted and stuff, so I'll fix that as well. Um, nothing to really worry about or, you know, actually scrap this video for. So, anyway. Yeah, I added like an ending after the ending again. See ya, thanks for watching, bye bye.